what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Democratic Congressman Tom Salzy is facing criticism after comments he made last week were interpreted as a suggestion of violence against Donald Trump. Salzy, a first-term congressman from New York, made the comments during a town hall meeting in Huntington, New York on March 12. After being asked by a constituent what consequences Trump would face if he broke laws, Salzy replied, it's really a matter of putting public pressure on the president and making it public. This is where the Second Amendment comes in, quite frankly, because you know, what if the president was to ignore the courts? What would you do? What would we do? A member of the crowd asked what the Second Amendment was, to which Salzy replied, the Second Amendment is the right to bear arms. That's why we have it. What do y'all think? I mean, saying that we have a right to bear arms and we have to exercise the Second Amendment, is that a direct threat on the president's life? Because I remember in 2016, Donald Trump actually threatened the life of Hillary Clinton and he became the president. So maybe if Salzy continued to threaten the president, he can become the president. Because after all, that seems to be the gold standard. Humiliation, confrontation, disrespect, threats, since Donald Trump has been in office, or not even, I mean, this is actually well before he got into office. Once he jumped on that campaign trail, he made his mind up. Man, I'm about to be the most disrespectful, uncouth, dirty, low-down, riding, crooked nominee to ever grace the stage and run for U.S. president. I mean, he got it lock, stock, and barrel. I don't think there has ever been a more deplorable candidate. He got it, man. I mean, he got it. it I'm telling you, it's going to be centuries before somebody more deplorable than Trump comes along. Somebody more unqualified to lead comes along. He is, indeed, the worst of the worst. But I want to know what y'all think. Do y'all think that's a threat? You heard what he said. Is that a threat? You know, we got the right to bear arms. Second Amendment gives us the right to bear arms. Is that a threat? Let me see. What else did he say? He said, uh, let's see. He said, there is... It's really a matter of putting public pressure on the president and making it public. This is where the Second Amendment comes in, quite frankly. Because, you know, I mean, he could be talking about right there, you know. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, he said, because, you know, uh, if the president was to ignore the courts, what would you do? I mean, if the president was to ignore the courts, what would you do? I mean, he's actually been ignoring the courts for a long time. I mean, he just is basically running amok, doing whatever the hell he wants to do. He, he don't even listen to his own briefings, his uh, security advisors. He don't listen to any of these people. I mean, he went in. Remember when he first got in office, he said he don't read security briefings? <laughs> this is the president of the United States, your president. And he don't read security briefings. But you really think he's going to keep you safe from Kim Jong-un. Or Kim Jong-un, my fault. You really think he's going to keep you safe from this, this guy. Trump can't keep Americans safe inside of his own borders. They got 500 federal agents not including all of these law enforcement agents in, in Houston, from Houston, Dallas, and Austin, 
running around like chickens with their heads cut off, trying to figure out who one person is that's bombing U.S. citizens. Now, if I had to take a real good hunch, I would say that the killer has some type of military experience, could possibly have worked for the government, might be working for the government right now, could be working for law enforcement in America right now. I mean, it's very consistent with their practices. So I wouldn't put it past them. This whole acting like they're trying to solve the case, man, could be all hoax. And notice there's very little media coverage. I mean, if this was happening to some white folks, man, this shit be all over the news all day, every day. They wouldn't even be covering anything else. You'd have to have another 10 Towers incident before they would switch gears briefly. But this is the America you love. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.